All right, hey everyone, Edge here with uh, the ViewSonic G-Tab running uh, TNT Lite 2.0 uh, Robeats Master Awesome Amazing Firmware for this device. The hardware, as I've discussed on this device before, is uh, pretty phenomenal, but uh, added, um, the, the firmware it comes with is really kind of crappy, but when you add this firmware to this device, it finally really just turns into crazy awesome. So I put a few widgets on here, uh, some of which I downloaded, uh, like uh, this one. I think the calendar widget may be one, and that's a stock Android widget. But I've also added some uh, icons to the home screen here. Um, Roby uh, packages this with ADW Launcher. I went ahead and downloaded the full ADW Launcher from the market, which is free, and gives me the ability to do things like, you know, do the pinch and pick a different home screen. But more importantly for me is it allows me to put seven uh, columns here in six rows. Also, if I were to flip this, um, the screen rotates. Wallpaper handling, I think, is a little better. I also like to be able to put the settings button right down here on the uh, left action button spot instead of having that stupid phone thing there all the time. Anyway, speed on this is just blazing phenomenal. I mean, it's it's everything that you would expect uh, a tablet to be. Uh, email opens up um, pretty well, as you can see. Um, we'll go back to the desktop. Work email. Um, I could pick which work email I want. Opens up again real nicely. Calendar is the big deal. Uh, calendar opens up very well. Um, this is the one that uh, is packaged in the 2.0 release of Robeat uh, TNT Lite. Um, if I go to uh, week view, you know, it's uh, you can scroll back and forth between them pretty easily between the weeks. As you can see, it's pretty pretty quick, it's nice and quick. If I want to go to day view, um, you know, here we go. I mean, nothing going on on those days, it looks like, but, you know, pretty, pretty easy stuff. Pretty uh, slick, nice, easy, fast, just awesome. Uh, contacts, uh, which was a point of contention, I don't know, for some folks when this first released this way. Uh, it works. Here I've got all my contacts. And if your contact has pictures, then they will continue to have pictures. And here it pulls up everything from Google quite nicely. Um, Here's the really big one, though. Look at this. Angry Birds. This is like, I guess, the, the one killer app that everybody measures the awesomeness of a uh, tablet on. Yes. You're seeing this correctly. There's no trickery going on here. This is regular uh, Angry Birds here on the G tablet. Now here's the cool part. This is what I normally would see on my Evo if I were to play this, but what I can do now, ooh, I could see the whole thing. Holy smokes. This makes playing uh, Angry Birds a lot easier. There you go. So, Angry Birds. It now works. Um, lots of other games on here are uh, just simply fa fantastic on this uh, screen. All right, let me get out of this. I can remember how. All right, there we go. <laughs> uh, a couple other things on here. Um, gallery is pretty much the same. I mean, I've gone through in my other videos uh, how to, uh, you know, kind of what is here, what's on uh, the firmware for these things. And uh, I think everybody's seen that. But look at this, fully working market. Now, the instructions for this are on the XDA forums if you do a little bit of searching. But uh, everything that, oh, a network error. 
Well, no, that's not good. All right, so let's take a look here. This is Wi-Fi networks available. It's scanning, Wi-Fi settings. Let's take a look here. Now, this is something that I've not had happen, but um, I know uh, used to happen to me with this stock uh, firmware is the this whole Wi-Fi issue with connecting, not connecting after waking up from sleep. Um, a lot of times I found the best thing, well, now look, it connected up. There we go. I was going to say, normally I would find the best thing to do is to typically just reboot it. Uh, this time, it actually just connected right up, so there we go. Anyway, back to market. Um, you go to apps, all applications, here's your top paid apps, top free, and now it's actually showing everything. It's not like a, a filtered mini list or anything like that. It's actually uh, pretty awesome. So really big deal when it comes to uh, the marketplace. Whoops, there we go. Yeah, see, now that's something I've noticed, and I'm glad it did it right now. Whenever there's email coming in, I notice that the system pauses for just a couple of moments uh, while it's downloading the email. So I'm hoping that that kind of performance stuff will be taken care of as the, um, as the Tegra 2 is better utilized, where perhaps uh, the multiprocessing uh, uh, capabilities of the chip are better addressed. Uh, for right now, it seems like when you get a new email, it kind of bogs the system down. And if I'm watching a movie or something, which, oh, by the way, on uh, this new f this this version of firmware is uh, pretty awesome. And you know, skipping to another part. I mean, it's just immediate. It's just phenomenal. I I can't say enough about how awesome. Um, watching videos on this device is. Um, I watched uh, four movies in four flights uh, last week on business and I traveled with this and even though it was a different version of the firmware it still did a great job and people around me, as, as a matter of fact, uh, a person who sat right next to me on one of the flights had an iPad and she was uh, thoroughly um, amazed by how awesome the G-Tab was working is as compared to her iPad. I mean she really Felt, she felt that, you know, it was just as cool as her device. And when I showed her it ran Flash and that I had, you know, USB port and uh, micro SD slot and a bunch of other stuff, um, it, the, the importance of those things were not lost on her. I was kind of surprised. You know, I thought that she would be a typical consumer who didn't really, you know, n notice or care about those things, kind of like some of the marketing of Apple would uh, would like you to believe. But, no, she actually was like, oh, holy cow, you mean I can actually hook up uh, – you know, my thumb drive to that thing, and, you know, those kind of things matter to people, and I, I think it's a big differentiator with this device here. Um, anyway, gallery, the same thing, TweetDeck, um, you know, works pretty awesome. Again, everything is so super smooth on here. That's that's really, I guess, if there was any one big improvement that Robeat was able to do with this this version of the firmware, um, was to really kind of make everything run. I mean, I know obviously he's pulling the the kernel and the core and everything from um, from what ViewSonic or whoever sent out or wherever he got it from. But whatever he did in conjunction with with that work is put together just a truly amazing experience. A great tablet. I couldn't be any happier with this thing. Um, you know, it's fantastic. I wish I could show more. I mean, the thing is, I've showed a lot of these stuff off in my other videos. Um, what I just kind of wanted to show was this this version, this uh, TNT Lite 2.0, and just to kind of give people a, a sense of what what is here, what it looks like, and uh, maybe just talk about some of the improvements. Um, probably not as awesome a video as my other ones, not to say that my videos are awesome at all, but anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and post this one now, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I hope to answer them for you, and if it's something I can make a video of, I will do that. Take care, everyone.